the Curiosity rover has made its mark, literally, on the Martian surface, laying tire tracks across a stretch of dust that till now had lain undisturbed for eons. We're very excited to, to have this uh, kind of milestone behind us. We uh, see that the system is performing uh, very well, and uh, we're in a great place to do some science. Animation shows Curiosity on the move. Its first trip was only about four meters forward and back, and it moved very slowly. But the trip has built confidence that the rover will be able to carry out its mission a journey up the formidable mountain at the center of the Gale Crater. But it couldn't be more important. I mean, we built a rover. So unless the rover roves, we really haven't accomplished anything. And, and so, yes, tremendous. And, and the fact that we were completely exercised it and um, everything was on track is, is a big moment, very big moment. Curiosity's mission is to run tests on soil and rock to determine whether Mars could have supported life in the past or may even be a living planet today. It shot laser beams onto Martian rocks to analyze the spectrum of light emitted and determine their chemical makeup. So we can see the major elements on here, um, oxygen, silicon, magnesium, iron, sodium, potassium, um, calcium. So there's a lot of detail we can get from this instrument, and so we're, we're really excited about that. Carbon is important because it's a crucial element for life. Get straight to the good stuff. Science often begins as today. science Feature fiction, hand. and the Curiosity the team stand. paid tribute to the visionary writer Ray Bradbury, author of The Martian Chronicles, who died earlier this year. They showed a 1971 video of Bradbury reciting a poem as an earlier Short spacecraft approached Mars. I send my rockets forth between my ears, hoping an inch of good is worth a pound of years. Aching to hear a voice cry back along the universal mall. We've reached Alpha Centauri. We're tall. Oh, God, we're tall. The spot where Curiosity touched down on Mars has been named Bradbury Landing. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.